Well, well, officials from the Attorney General's office say that these policy changes are not mandatory. They are simply recommended, but they will make for better witnesses and stronger cases. The policy changes that are being recommended for New Hampshire's police departments are designed to make eyewitnesses more reliable and keep innocent people from going to prison. The Attorney General's office would like to see New Hampshire law enforcement adopt changes, specifically to the way they conduct lineups and display photo arrays. The worst thing that you can do is convict a wrong person. So by ensuring or increasing the validity of any kind of eyewitness, you're lessening the idea of the potential of someone being wrongfully convicted. Two of the biggest changes would be the way witnesses look at pictures of potential suspects. Under these new policies, the photos and their backgrounds would be more standardized and presented one at a time rather than all at once, which is considered standard practice. The officer showing the pictures would also be unaware of the identity of the potential suspect. And we're not talking about officer misconduct here. What uh, that protocol does is it cut, cuts off any possibility that the, there could be any inadvertent cue um, or subtle suggestion by body language on the part of the officer showing the photographs. The Innocence Project, a group that works to free wrongly convicted people, supports the proposed changes, saying of the 329 cases they've had overturned since 1992, 72 percent of them have had some type of faulty eyewitness identification. So what we often say at the Innocence Project is that the only person who benefits from a wrongful conviction is the real perpetrator. And what's more, there is no greater violation of individual liberty than a wrongful conviction. Officials realize that smaller departments may have more difficulty employing these new procedures, but training will be provided for those who want to participate. In putting live the newsroom, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.